rise up sons and daughters of the Most High. Um, I made a little video earlier, but I want to kind of bring you up to speed um, completely. So what you know, I haven't I haven't made many videos lately, but I've been I've been busy. Um, this, you know, the Lord commissioned me to this truck. I've only been in it about three months. Uh, I was quite happy doing what I was doing before, <coughs> which was sitting at the house doing a lot of praying for about four months. But um, I got I got a guy swerving all over me back here. Um. Anyways, so the Lord sent an angel to talk to me after he told me to go to work for this company what day I would get hired on and <clears throat> two days into my training an angel come and visit me at 555 in the morning in a hotel room and you know I was given a commission and told what I was going to do <clears throat> so but he doesn't fill in the details he just gives you the big the big picture hey I'm sending you out to do this and you know, and assured me that he was going to take care of me and what he was going to do for me during the process and asked me if I trusted him. So anyways, that was the angelic visitation part. <laughs> um, and the Holy Ghost was speaking to me that morning in my prayer time and in the way it all worked up, he said, look up. And, and I did, and sure enough, uh, there stood a big angel. But anyways, regardless of that, so I since then I've been in this truck. I've been in several trucks. I got a new one now. See how pretty it is? A Western style. Anyhow, uh, so this past weekend, the reason why I'm making this video, I've been, been in many states, but I've had to get the feel of this thing, what the Lord wanted me to do as I was, um, as I'm, you know, uh, the details of the mission as I'm going. So, what he, more or less what he's had me doing is declaring the same thing in each state. The restoration of all things has begun, and the glory is come. And I call for unity amongst the people, and I, I will pray in the Holy Ghost when I'm sitting in these states and I will let the Lord lead me into whatever else he wants done well this past weekend I threw a curveball on me Thursday afternoon I get a thought I was going to be home for the weekend all of a sudden they, they asked me would I go to Dallas and I'm like Lord what's going on you know kind of ruined my plans he said, go, I need you there. <clears throat> so, lo and behold, this past weekend, I've been in Dallas and in Fort Worth all weekend. Uh, Friday, Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, um, I was there. Saturday and Sunday was just dead time, sitting there praying. I went to uh, Dominion Life Church with Curry Blake. Sunday, but um, as soon as I walk out of church, I walk, I drive up on a wreck, got to pray for a guy, watch a broke arm get healed, you know. Um, but anyways, what was I doing there? So I, I have a shofar I was given, it was given to me by Prophet Tyrone, um, who I met before I got ordained a long time ago with Harvest, mighty man of God. He goes to the mountaintops and blows shofars, and so the Lord sent me out this time with a shofar to blow it. He said, I want you to blow the shofar. I want you to tear down. This was Halloween weekend now. I want you to tear down the walls of, of disunity and the strongholds that are over this city that my glory may come in. And that's what I did. <clears throat> All you can do is declare what the Lord tells you to say and do what he tells you to do. And watch him do the rest. So I'm telling you this because watch, you're about to see something magnificent and awesome start in Texas. Keep your eye on Dallas, Fort Worth, the border, all that. Keep your eye on the whole state of Texas. For some reason, he sent me to Dallas. Um, but something good has broke loose in Dallas, and 
something good is about to come out of Dallas. Uh, I think something is going to start there and, you know, spread out. And I think it's dealing with the financial system. So, uh, uh, prosperity is coming to the land. But ain't nothing going to happen. He, he does nothing without first revealing it to his servants, the prophets. And they have to go into forth and declare it. So I'm telling you, that's what I've been doing lately. The Lord put me in a truck in order to get me to the places he needs to get me through employment to serve his purpose as a prophet called by him, not by man. I, I, I thought I was going to be an evangelist. You know, I was fine, you know, being an evangelist. And, but um, I'd, I'd been... Did, anyways, so what I'm telling you is I don't care what you think. I know what my Lord's told me and what he, what he's called me. And that's all that matters. Because once he speaks that to you, it'll never leave your mind. You'll always question it if man speaks to you. But once he speaks it to you and either confirms what man said or man comes behind him and confirms what the Lord said, you can't shake it. So, uh, anyways doesn't matter what anybody else thinks as long as you know you've heard it from the Lord and confirmation will always follow before or after uh, depending on your response time and how you respond to the call but anyways that's what I've been doing I'm headed up to Connecticut right now as things are really unsettled in the atmosphere in the in the states right now a lot going on a lot of a lot of crazy stuff but it's amazing. He's got the prophets on the run right now. They're traveling. He's telling them to go places, do things. And so I'm telling you, are you serving your purpose? Are you doing what you're called to do? Are you being led by the Holy Spirit? It's very important this hour because as, as insignificant as your call may seem and as you're, you being just one person, it's it's the people in the back scenes and that 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 don't, that aren't noticed much that make the biggest effects. I don't have a big name, big reputation, but you can bet <laughs> those people who do now started out just like I'm doing or you're doing or anyone else. Um, you know, to grow and in, grow into the big callings and the, and the the recognitions, you have to be faithful without the the big without the name tag beforehand. You know what I'm saying? You got to build your relationships with Christ first, and your faithfulness with Him first, before He's going to put you on the mainstream, you know, or on the front line, and put your face out there, because you're representing Him, right? So, anyways, I'm just kind of—I know I'm chasing a few rabbits here, but I'm just kind of going with the flow. But that's what I'm doing. I'm heading to Willington, Connecticut, right now. And every state, I wake up every morning before couple hours before I drive and spend that time with the Lord and then of course I can also pray and spend time with the Father the whole time I'm driving it's pretty awesome you have some I mean, I've seen Jesus sitting in that seat right over there in my other truck truck 338 one morning sitting right over there with his feet propped up on the dash so I'm just saying uh, I've had some pretty amazing encounters um, and God's no respecter of a person. So dig in. Press in. Because your prayers are being heard. Your prayers are being answered. And it's time to take take back what's been stolen from us. And everyone has a part to do. Everyone. I bless you. I pray this finds you well. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I just pray over those listening and take the time to listen to this 10-minute video, Lord. I bless their, I just pray that you would bless their socks off. I pray the goodness of God over them in measures and ways they've never seen before. Father, I declare forth your glory, your goodness, your refreshing, your refilling, your might. Come upon them, Lord, as they listen under the sound of my voice, Lord. Father, I pray that you would stir their hearts, Lord. I pray that the right goodness of God, which lead to repentance, would come upon those uh, everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord. But I just ask that you would pour out a special favor and blessing upon their life, Lord, this day. In Jesus' name.
Amen.